Welcome to Tavasoli's electrical training channel. This is another video to show you another practical um, work that I've done here. Reusing the old drill batteries. Now this was an old drill battery that I had um, and I kept the charger, the battery it was still good but the drill wasn't good so I kept the battery and it is it was 14.4 volts and I happen to have another drill that operates by 14.4 volts but the battery was knackered but now what you find is these batteries never match each other in most cases anyway most cases they don't match so this wouldn't fit that um, charger you either have its own charger the new drills charger or you have the old charger one, one way or the other you need to use one of these old batteries so you keep these batteries if, they, if they're good and if your drill battery goes bad there is a way to change things around the battery that I took out of this, the, this casing for this drill, these are the batteries that came out. So they're like this. Each one is 1.2 volts, um, depending on your battery or your drill. This one, this particular one is 1,300 milliamp per hour um, or 1,300 milliamp hour. Um, 1.2 volts now you had in this particular one one two three four five six seven and there is another three in the middle that's ten plus these two that's twelve twelve of them twelve times one point two that's fourteen point four volts that was originally for this but like I said the battery that was inside here Sorry, this was originally in this casing that was naked. Uh, when you take, when I took it out, it was like this. Now you have these plates that are spot welded to each battery. Some of them are rusty and they've come off. As soon as you move them, they just tear off, snap, and that's that might have been the possibility of the problem the original problem to begin with like this one is snapped here that might have been the problem to begin with and um, that's caused the battery not to work <coughs> or uh, one or two batteries have gone back or all of them so <coughs> what you find is like I said <coughs> the batteries heads don't match so you can't even fit the same charger whether the old charger or the new charger they don't fit each other so what we want to do is we want to use the the, the the current casing this is the current casing for this but the running batteries the batteries that are good what i've done i've taken the batteries the good batteries out of this and fitted in this uh, when you want to do that you have to uh, customize it you have to move things around sometimes it's easy sometimes it's difficult sometimes it's almost impossible unless you have spot welding machines and you can detach these and connect them with new plates and join them again but I didn't have a spot welder and I didn't want to mess with that I found <coughs> that I could do this in this case you have one battery as you see these batteries are like that and this would come here this one battery will stand out in in this casing it stand out in this casing here so it would be something like like this we go inside there I don't want to cut myself these are very sharp you have to be very careful and that the plates will sit here and here you have positive and negative now within that again you have <coughs> plastic 
um, housing for the plates to go there like this one for instance the plastic goes on this side and the positive goes on the other side or the, the neutral goes here and positive and negative go to the other side uh, each battery design is different and then at the bottom of them sometimes in this case you had this to keep it up because this is a little bit longer or taller than this one as you can see just a little bit taller um, which makes it difficult again to put that in this so what I've done I've removed as you see and removed the uh, plastic housing and some of them have this type some of them have different types and I've changed that as well because originally this one <coughs> had something like this uh, this is an extra one from another one again I'll, I'll show you another battery I've done the same thing another two batteries have shuff, shuffled things around and um, managed to use that one so managed to bring this drill back to life now as you see this drill was dead but you, can, you can see it's working it's charged with the same charger now I, did, I didn't even have an have a current charger good charger for this one I've used the old charger so the batteries inside here are basically from this casing originally and are charged with the same old charger now you might say well this doesn't fit in that yes it doesn't uh, what I've used I've used crocodile clips just to connect these um, pins positive and negative be careful now, again you can see this one <coughs> it says when it sits there it says positive here and negative there this one is positive negative it, it happened to be the same anyway it doesn't go in there uh, and I have to use crocodile clips but <coughs> when you do that you have to be careful with the polarity positive and negative some of them are the other way around like in this case as you can see this is negative this is positive whereas this one is positive this one is negative so it's opposite but you have to be careful with the polarities I'll show you that one later so all you have to do basically take the good batteries out very carefully very gently uh, without tear because if you force them out or you try to pull these out these plates might snap or cut your fingers um, and especially if they're already charged it's even more difficult well not more difficult it's just you have to be more careful because if they touch the uh, wires touch each other uh, cause um, they can cause fire and the batteries obviously get short-circuited and they can really go hot and burn your fingers because they have a lot of current in them um, usually so that's uh, that now it's done uh, in another video I'll show you how we can actually make a, ch a universal charger for these things so you don't have to be worried about these batteries not fitting in the old charger or the old battery not fitting in the new charger so uh, we can use them intermittently with a universal battery charger universal drill battery charger you know one of these um, this type of batteries I'll make that in a separate video <coughs> but to, to open these like I said you have to be careful and sometimes you need this type of screwdriver because the screws that are used for the batteries sometimes are normal like in this case they were all just normal a uh, flip screwdriver would just open them but sometimes you need security screwdrivers or security uh, screwdriver bits like this um, I have a set here and you can find one of these from the link I, um, I have at the bottom of this video you can buy one of those um, so you can open any any safety or security screws that they might have but I warn you you have to know what you're doing like I said even 
Uh, playing and messing about with these batteries can be dangerous because they can really get hot if they get short circuited and they can burn you or they can even explode. Um, so that was this battery uh, for this drill like I showed you it is working and it is charged uh, I've been using it after I've charged it but I have another drill here on this side I've done exactly similar thing and um, again this is the battery casing for this drill and as you can see it is working because I've replaced the batteries it wasn't working the battery was all dead rusty and were no good I took the batteries out of this casing <coughs> and this is the charger for it so I'm still using the same charger and as you can see it just goes inside there and and comes out it's a little bit tough but that's how it was to begin with right it's positive positive negative negative again <coughs> and the way I fixed this I found I had kept another battery from an electric um, hedge trimmer that wasn't good I chucked the hedge trimmer out but I kept the battery and it happened to be the same voltage this is 18 volts battery and this is an 18 volt battery uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries it was same, same similar batteries inside there uh, <clears throat> chuck the bad ones out well when I chuck them out you have to recycle them you have to recycle them properly uh, undo them disconnect all these batteries from each other by just twisting them so they can come apart without causing any danger and uh, possibly hammer the end of them and um, take them to the recycle Um, the batteries again are fitted in this in, the, in this case it happened to have two batteries in this case in this part of the casing um, and it was the same but the difference is if you notice this side is positive this side is negative and in this case it's, this side is negative and this side is positive so it's opposite so that was a little bit fiddly the batteries themselves fitted Apart from one problem because here we had another you have two screws here one screw was just going right here in this case there's two screws here two screws here batteries were sitting in between them but the batteries there was no room for this uh, screw holder in the middle to go through these this pack of batteries that are solid packed so what I did I just basically got rid of that um, stem for the screw to go there and basically got done away with this I did away with this screw as you can see I just taped this part I screwed it as usual in this this end and just taped that you could still use stems here on this end with um, pens if you cut the tubings of the pens you can just put them there glue them and then put them put two screws there I didn't want to mess with that just the straightforward tape there and uh, the way I did this part uh, changing the polarity and uh, the plastic bit that's holding the plates of positive and negative either side from this end this goes in here with plates either side now what I did I just took the plates out and replaced we you know uh, swap them around and when you do that as you can see there's casing here there's pins there so the pins can go actually sit there but when you swap them around it might not exactly sit properly there so you just have to move things around and um, kind of uh, devise a way to do it and sometimes like I said the stem this part might not be as long as the old one 
and so you have to press them uh, as you can see this plate is standing up so I had to just with uh, long nose pliers just fold them the correct way and sort them but you have to be careful as you're folding them maybe two pairs of long nose pliers to sort these without bending this too many times because if you bend them too many times what will happen is uh, this will eventually snap and then that's not going to be any good to you like that and you've lost another set of batteries so that's it for this project basically I've restored this casing using the old good batteries from that casing and again this battery this drill is now functional as you can see the drill has come back to life like i said in another video i'll show you how to make a universal charger so you don't have to be worried about this if you've lost your charger or your charger is not working anymore you don't have to stick to that one charger you can have a charger that fits any of these batteries of any of your drills that you have. I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.